we've all heard the stories. I once caught a fish this big. Big Florida bass. Or this was the one that got away. But what's the story behind all of those tales? What drives people to oceans, lakes, and streams? Is it to connect with nature? Is it to live out man's oldest occupation? Or is it a chance to heal the soul with a time-honored family tradition? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. In fishing, there's the hunt, there's the challenge every time you hit the water, there's the camaraderie. You wanna put like a 10 push-up wager on Yeah, let's do that. And then there's the story. Ronnie. Mark, what's what? up, Kim Folk? Man, good to see you, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You God. ready to get him, man? Welcome hey. to Florida again, I, It's baby. been a while, but I'm back, baby. Yeah, I am man. back. Keep the gators away and bring the fish to play. <laughs> That's it, man. I'm excited. Hey, man, this is an exciting lake, inner city lake, and it has so many good fish. You ready to get your arm, bro? Well, Break my arm and hurt my feelings. I don't care. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the leader on there. So what I do is I take this, and you're gonna get the fluorocarbon, make a loop. Okay. Take the braid, All right. stick it through there, hold on to it, and just wrap it around. Okay. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna take that same braided line and go back through that loop. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull. Both sides. Both is okay at the same time. And there we go. Hey, Mark, you know uh, my cat been asking about you. Oh, man, that Taxes cat. Taxes miss you, man. That evil cat. Uh, man. This cat, man, I mean, <laughs> and it is sitting, it peeps at you. And she's like, laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> I'm like, man, what's wrong with the cat? Oh, she's all right. She's not feeling good today. Ah. I'm like, if I wake up with this cat on my chest, it's a wrap. I'm sorry, but the cat got to go. And that's a fishing story. <laughs> I love my patches, man. <laughs> fishing is good. Yeah. I mean, you got some nice fishing in Texas. But what I love about Florida is that it's, it's just like Florida. It's diverse. It's, I yeah. mean, it's all kind of fishing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's just got so many lakes. I mean, you can go in a neighborhood in the middle of a beautiful city like St. Pete, catch yeah. them. <laughs> you can go in the middle of the city, Tampa, you know, Lakeland, you name it, Bradenton. Just find your little city but and I tear them up. I would have to say bass fishing, though, mm -hmm. is, is this the best here. It is. It it's is, good. man. When I lived here in, in, in Coral Springs, Fort Lauderdale area, I kept the rod and reel in my vehicle. Did you? <laughs> I mean, I was going to school. I went to uh, American Intercontinental. Yeah. And I would leave like two hours early because I seen a fishing hole <laughs> on, on the way to school. <laughs> Don't tell me you stopped there. Man, I would be late to class and everything. I, they like, why do you have on camos? I'm like, <laughs> well, I was in the army. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I went fishing. I went fishing. Yeah, yeah. You know. Uh -huh. But that was just, that's just the beauty of Florida, man. You could be on the highway and just be like, look at that. Let me just pull over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spot just right there. Exactly. Oh. There he is. There he is. <sighs> there he is. That's what I'm talking about, Mark. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Mm, set that drag on him. <laughs> Fix that drag. Get him, Mark. Get him. Oh, good Lord. Watch your head. Damn. Mm. Man, Fix I should have had my drag yeah. set. Oh, you go ahead and do it. Oh, God. man. I felt them, too. Did you? Yeah. That's fine. There you go. <laughs> I got him. I got him. I got him. See, that's 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 it right there. That's it. That's it. Oh Lord, go that's on, it. Mark. That's it. Hey, I think the drag is set right this time. That's, that's, that's how, how you, you start the day, baby. That's how you start the day right there. 
Oh, I turned my back for half a second. Yeah. And you I, well, I, knew he was, I, I knew he was right over there. Yeah. <laughs> I knew he was right over there. Nice one. Yes, gonna sir. We're going to let him grow Good up pick. a little bit. Yes, sir. Let but at least you let him bit. know you're here. I let him know, man. Be like, hey, guess what? I'm visiting y'all. Uh, Don't go nowhere. Hey, they right there. Look, he ate the bait and everything. All right. Uh-oh. All right, I am back. Let me... I'm back. Wrench around wrench and wrench around. it off. <laughs> Let me get wrench you right. around and wrench it off. <laughs> Let me get you right, Mark. Yeah, give me right, Ronnie, because I was I was you had wanting so... to go weedless. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, now, yeah you now, I'm <laughs> now I'm set up. Now I'm set up. You know, he bit off that old sloppy rig I, I had saw on that. I think, I, I think they biting off sloppy rigs. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't sloppy really going nowhere yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sloppy I'm rig. I'm having to patent that. Uh -huh. The sloppy rig. We got a big family. You know that, right? Big. Man. How many is it of us, man? Well, we first cousins. We first cousins. And I then. think it's like 54, 56, close Ooh. to 60. <laughs> of just grandchildren. Grandchildren, boy. Yeah, man, our grandmother, she, what was it, 13 kids she had? Yeah, 13. 13 kids? Love my grandma. Man. We call her Nana, we call her Anna Stell. Yep. We call her, you know. I think, Ronnie, didn't you give her that name? Nani, Nana? Yeah, because I, I couldn't think, say. Because you couldn't say mama. <laughs> and, so and, and, and that was the name she kept forever. That is amazing, them names, man. <laughs> yeah, but we, we country. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We're also pretty patriotic, too, man. Our family, if you notice. Very. You in the Army. Yes. Um, then the Marines. Got several. There's in the Air Force and all, all sorts of things. Well, it was, it was like that, man. I mean, coming up, and we were able to just watch, like, you and Roderick and how successful you guys were and what you did, man, just from watching you, you know, at the Texas Tech. Sure. And uh, <clears throat> watching Ronnie, you know, I mean, Roderick, uh, I think it was Kansas, right? Kansas where State. He went to, yeah, yeah, Kansas State, where he went to college, man. And then, of course, I'm following behind y'all. I go to the same high school. You guys good at track and football. They was expecting the same thing out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's them green boy cuz. <laughs> Uh, I think the first day I transferred to West Campus, uh -huh. it was a football game, and they, I had never practiced or anything. They just suited me up, like, go out there and catch the ball and run it back. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good, but it didn't happen. I was like, man, you know, it's just too much stress coming up behind Ronnie and Roger. It's just too much. No, you got it. Got him. Ronnie. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's what you call determination. Yeah, you just got to keep flipping until they say we're... Determination. Not a big fish, but they're all fun to catch. Yes, indeed. You know, I hate flipping. I think I told you, man. I guess I'm going to have to watch paint dry. <laughs> that's, that's what the equivalent of it is, watching paint dry. Oh, good one. Good one, Mark. <clears throat> oh, there you go. We own something now. Yeah, we own something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the flipping uh, bike. Oh. They huge, but they are all fun to catch. That's Let me it. Tell you, that's what I'm talking about. Little baby boy, about two more years, you be ready. He don't even know he's a baby. He like, hey man. <laughs> he said, this is not bad. Why well, I don't usually fish this edge because uh -huh. it's usually dirty, but since the wind is blowing all over. This might be the edge. Of course, your mom was instrumental in my upbringing, you know? Really? She kept me from crying. My mother said, my mom and my dad, uh -huh. and big daddy, our great grandpa, said, Ronnie was the most cryingest baby. <laughs> you use that word, <laughs> cryingest baby I've ever been around. <laughs> Get that boy from around here. <laughs> just crying for nothing. He just cried. Shut the door. Close <laughs> it. Your mama would come in there. Uh -huh. She put me on her lap. 
bounce me on a lap and be singing. But that's the beauty of family, Basin. man. Yeah, Every, man. Everybody you never tend forget to your that children. Stuff. That's right. Everybody. It was everybody. your job and your duty. That's it. Mm-hmm. And my mom would be like, Vasey, take him. Yeah. Just take him. I can't do nothing with him. <laughs> and she get to sing to me. <laughs> Next thing you know. Yeah. And then calm down, man. What's your experience? If you were able to sum it up and explain it to somebody that really didn't know our family, man, how would you explain it? Total chaos. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> let me tell you about my uncle, Uncle Lawrence. Boy, he pack off food. No, I'm, I'm just playing. He, our family, man, is, is, is unique. Um, yeah. Every family has disagreements. Yep. Um, and, you know, of course, we're not going to see eye to eye on everything. But That's right. one thing about it, we still understand family. When we get together, we get together. That's right. uh, when somebody needs something, we all pull together. Yeah. And, um, you know, we keep God first, too, so I think that helps out a lot. Yeah. Man, when you have your faith and your family together. That's huge, man. If somebody was trying to understand how we grew up during Christmas, explain to everybody what we did during Christmas, how we would gather and, you know, clown, and everybody had a turn. We didn't come from a family of wealth. Um, so you might get a pair of socks on Christmas. You're like, you're supposed to buy me this. You can't just buy this for Christmas. No, I'm, this is stuff you're supposed to do when you have a kid. Don't give me no socks and yeah. toothbrushes and stuff. That's right. But, you know, we would come together as a family, man. Our grandmother, aunts, everybody would cook, and we would just have a great time, man. I wouldn't change that for nothing. No. Because I learned so much, man, just sitting there watching. Mm -hmm. And there was times where, we, remember, we would all come together. We would be at Aunt Mary's house or yes. either Aunt Francis. Yes. And that would be all of us. All and that's of a us. lot of grandkids and family. And then all of a sudden, they're like, Mark, do Willie Nim again. <laughs> and next thing you know, it turns into entertainment hour, man. <laughs> Yo, you want a dollar? And you all get everybody dancing. <laughs> God damn, you out there doing a stink. I think I invented the stink leg before it came out. Boy, I was doing a stanky leg in like 79. I know I was. <laughs> baby Mark, boy. Yeah, yeah. Baby man. Yeah, baby man. Baby, baby man. man. Your mother that's gave it. me that name. Yeah, man. That's baby awesome, man. man. What's so important as well, man, is the influence, especially that you had. You know, a lot of people don't know you're a phenomenal veteran, man, and thank you for your service. You know, thank you. Although it was the army, you know, we we'll let that pass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we wasn't no leathernecks. What they call y'all? Leatherbacks or <laughs> fullbacks or something? <laughs> Leather. <laughs> uh -huh. But you know, we all served our country. That's right. Um, That's right. And I wouldn't take it back. You know, I signed a check that was blank. Mm. And Uncle Sam was like, you know, you can do whatever I want with you now. But I, I did it. I did it proudly. And I would do it again if I if I had to, if need be. Yeah. So that's good stuff, man. Yeah, man. A lot of people, you say you wasn't a pole, a position other than a grunt. I was a grunt. You no, know, I was first in the fight. I got to go in nose first. You know what I mean? So it's, it's stuff. A lot of people look at you. They don't they don't know your they story no unless clue. you open your mouth. Yeah, you go. You know what I mean? Because they funny. look at me like he's like, <laughs> look at how braids and stuff. He probably bugged out and this, that, and the other. Wow. And a lot of times, I have more education than people around me. <laughs> you know, that's powerful what you just said, you know, because we all do it. We we judge, prejudge, before we actually allow a situation to develop. Mm -hmm. And that's part of human nature, uh, and sometimes even a belief system. Yeah. But I love how you how you talk about it. Nobody knew that you'd be a veteran. That's right. Got a degree, graduated right. with honors. You cool know, bloody. And was a beast of a fullback, running back, slash, you name it, yeah. athlete, period. <laughs> well, uh, I graduated in 96. Um, out of Texas, I was ranked number 10 in all running backs. I had barely made the cutoff, and mm. that got me a, a football scholarship. I went to Lamar's Iowa. It was a private college, but uh, mm -hmm. it still got me there. And you remember how we used to play football in the street? Yeah, no shoes side on. Sideline tackle. <laughs> Well, we play tuck. Good but lord. But if you get close to the sideline, yeah. you can get clobbered. <laughs> it's like, bye out. You better not cry. Charles, what's wrong? <laughs> Charles, he just accident prone. I ain't never seen nobody get hurt by Al. He just walk outside like, ah, what happened to Al Blue me down? 
I saw an oh, uncle yeah. who's younger than, than I am, and it's always cool, man. And everybody like, man, I think your cousin's out there. No, that's my <laughs> uncle, man. That's your uncle. <laughs> yep. That's what makes a family so special. And, and thinking about your dad and Vietnam veteran, been yeah. through the real deal war stuff. Yeah. Incredible veteran, but he was a man that really didn't sit around and brag and talk about everything like that. Everybody celebrated him because he didn't have to say a word. He was humble. That's what is powerful. But he was a big man and soft-spoken. Yeah, man. It, it'll throw you off. Like I said, you yeah. don't know it until you actually talk to somebody. And he'd be like, woo, he'll scare you, too. Don't be scared, because you'd be like, oh, Lord. I just spilled all the Kool-Aid on the floor. Or scary movies. He likes scary yeah. movies, that's right. And he'd cover his face. He was like 6'4", <laughs> had been to Vietnam, but was scared of scary movies. He'd be covering his face talking about, tell daddy what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, I can't bet it because I'm covering my eyes too. <laughs> oh, Chuck, oh, that's God. too funny. But you can't beat it, man. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, Lord. There you go, Mark. Mark. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Every time I turn around, he's over there Wow. Yes. What yes. <laughs> yes. Man. It's just, it's when your day ain't going so well, you're like, okay, I think they done. <laughs> and then, then they hit you real quick. That's what I'm talking about. And it, it ain't a, a very big fish, but it was a nice catch. Yeah. It was the catch. It ain't the fish, man. Yeah, it's they're Good all Lord. fun to catch. Good catch. Man. Yeah. Nice. Hey, to find out more about the show, check out AFishingStory.com. There you'll find out about our guests, our fans, and myself, Ronnie Green. And there's also a contact page because we'd love to hear from you. So check out AFishingStory.com. I remember the first time I got baptized, your daddy baptized me. What? Bethany Christian Center. No kidding, Mom. Yeah. I was like, Uncle Rap, it's cold. Boy, shut up. You gonna get this thing. <laughs> like, God. <laughs> well, I gotta put on all these white clothes. <laughs> Too big and everything. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Uncle Rap. Yeah, man, that's my pops, man. <laughs> But that's the true definition of a hustler right there. Yes, sir. Hardest working Four. man I know. You remember he had us hustling them pies, selling man, pies. Man, them pies and banana nut bread, <laughs> everything. We had some hustle going on. Dad had us all. Go in that restaurant. Yeah. They don't speak no Spanish. <laughs> Get in there and start talking. <laughs> Say something. Uncle Raph had everybody boxing and everything. He made oh, a man yeah. out of you. Yeah, he did. Y'all got a problem with each other? Yeah. I think it was like some socks and, 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 and uh, newspaper or something in the socks yeah. on your hands. You crying and fight. First one cry, get a whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I was like, man, my dad finna make us box. <laughs> no, they gonna learn. They gonna learn not to fight. Next thing you know, we hugging each other. No, you ain't hugging. Yeah. Don't hug. You fight. <laughs> no, we made up, daddy. We made up. <laughs> We talked a lot today when we caught some fish. They weren't the biggest fish, but we had a great time. We had a lot of camaraderie, and you know, it was a true fishing story. What would you tell people about dealing with, because we've been talking about judgment a lot today, for yeah. whatever reason, what would you say? I, I, would, I would say don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Um, appearance is, is one thing, but actually getting to know something or of someone is, is, a, is, is a better perspective rather than pointing the finger and say, you know what, you look like this, so I think this is how you are. I have a bachelor's degree. Um, I'm a veteran, a 9-11 war veteran. My major's in audio, my minor's in film, so a lot of people don't know this mm. because they look at me. But this is, you know, that's the freedom of America. You can do it and, 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 and do anything you want. Look how you want to. That's right. So instead of judging, you know, get to know somebody. Oh, Look at Mark. Look at Mark. Look at Mark. That's a good one, Mark. That's a good one, Mark. Yeah. Man, that's great stuff, man. Good fish. Yeah. He's a beast with it's the Cinco. A, yes, sir. It's a better of the last couple. All right, Mark, let's talk about the elephant in the room. You beat the bricks off of me today fishing, man. 
You well, know I ain't gonna be able to go home to San Antonio <laughs> for another several years, because I just don't want to hear it, man. Right, I was trying to hold back, too, man. <laughs> I was like, you know, you it's family, me. I can't do them like that. It's like I came in your kitchen and slapped you and ate your sandwich. <laughs> man, and wiped right. the mustard off, because I don't like mustard. Oh, man. But you know but, what? That's why they call it fishing and not catching, you know? That's it. I'm just glad for the opportunity, man. Yeah, I did beat the bread. How many did you catch? One? <laughs> I think I got about five or six or something. I mean, I ain't boasting or nothing. It is what it is. No, it is what it is. Everybody seen it. OK, I had to bait your hook. I'm going to take a little credit for it, too. Yeah. He had to straighten my hook out. See, I was, I was used to the, 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 uh, the other hooks. These some new ones. Yeah, yeah, These some yeah. new ones, 2016 no, hooks. No, you smacked them, man. And that's what it's all about, man. And sometimes when you just got the hot hand, you got to feed them the ball. That's it, man. And, man, they were feeding you the ball a lot. They were, man. I, I just found something that was working, and I stuck with it. That Cinco is the deal, ain't it? It is. Are you a believer? I'm a believer. You know. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. But I enjoy myself, man. I, yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah.